hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is Jason Newland welcome to I think it's day seven of this daily uh, relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panic attacks uh, before we start I would just like to give a shout out and thank you really to those of you that have um, been posting comments over the last week uh, first of all uh, say thank you to Ken Gibson uh, Leslie Batch Daniel Smith Boston Chicky uh, let's see Chesterfields James Andrews uh, Lynn Boisvert Terry Tanktop Derek Folds and Jeff Jolly and again Boston Chicky so I just wanted to say thank you to those of you uh, there's more people but those of you that are regularly commenting uh, I really do appreciate it and um, uh, out of those people Boston Chicky is one of the people that's actually been following me for a long 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 time um, we both used to make vlogs like regular in fact Boston Chicky used to make a daily vlog when I first met her online I think she um, was near the end of a year or in the middle of doing a year vlog like a daily vlog every day for a year um, it's quite a few years back anyway um, I'm going to do this session so that's what I'm here for each session is different yet each session is going to have a crossover because relaxation is relaxation ultimately and you can find different ways to get to the same place but then if you're used to hearing my voice and you're used to falling into a degree of relaxation both physically uh, mentally emotionally then that happens naturally um, when you hear my voice so even if I'm about to do a session about um, helping you with tinnitus or um, chronic pain or whatever it might be when you hear my voice you just naturally feel more relaxed and it's just a natural thing that happens um, because it's just it's a trigger isn't it I guess and in previous videos I've talked about triggers and how to set up a trigger um, and there's lots of different ways where you can do that lots of different ways that you can get to a feeling of complete relaxation and um, that's why I decided to, to do this series of daily relaxation sessions because the amount of techniques and the amount of ways of getting there are just so numerous that it can't really I can't express it in one session so I just do a different one every day and it's nice sometimes I think to have variety to have uh, choice you know to listen to something that's a bit different even though it's kind of the same but not the same it's you know it has a, a different content but maybe the same result or maybe an even more profound and deeper sense of relaxation for you every time you hear my voice see my face on a video you're gonna become more relaxed anyway and then every session you hear more information maybe more ideas are then offered to your unconscious mind to absorb those suggestions of comfort relaxation calmness into your life and into your mind and into your body so you really do have a choice it's uh i said this in the past um it's very much like a a buffet where you can just choose to try on something maybe you see something on the table 
a buffet, you know, a food buffet, and you've never tasted it before, and you're thinking, oh, I wonder what that tastes like. But because it's like tiny little bit of food, it's not a, not a big meal, you can just test it and say, well, yeah, that's all right. I quite like that. And it's a choice. It's a choice. So you can test it. And that's all I'm going to say about everything that I do is just test it and see how it works for you, how beneficial what I do is for you. And even when I'm talking like this, there's still method in what I'm doing. There's still uh, giving your mind an opportunity to relax, to calm down, to slow down, and your body naturally will feel more relaxed when I've been talking. So you may notice that actually you feel physically calmer now than you did when you first started listening to this session. And that's natural. It's just the absolutely natural thing to happen. And you kind of acclimatize and get used to my voice. And as you would with anybody's voice. It's not special for me, it's for anybody. Anybody's voice that you listen to, you get used to it and you get used to having that feeling and with me, it's for relaxation, calmness, or whatever feelings you have. In the same way as when you, uh, someone you care about, you see them coming towards you, you see them walking, you see their face, and you have a feeling. You have a, whatever the feeling is you have, that's the feeling and response you have, and quite often it'll be the same response as you would have had last time you saw them. That sense of familiarity, that sense of trust, that sense of, I don't know, like calmness and, you know, like the opposite to being on guard. You know, it's, I suppose I said it, the sense of safety there, but the sense of trust, of being able to just let down your guard, drop those, you know, things that you use to protect yourself with, whether it's a shield of armor or whatever, you know, that invisible thing that you use, quite often it's just the attitude maybe that we have, uh, the mindset maybe of protection, of self-protection, self-regard, keeping ourselves protected and safe. Well, you are safe. At all times, you are safe when you watch these videos or listen to the, the audios you're safe. And the good thing is you can always listen back to what I've said, listen back to the words I've used. And you can know that every single session I do is going to be um, with your self interest at heart with your, your potential healing in mind to move you not just to feel relaxed, but to actually help you transform your life towards the kind of life that you wish to have, which involves feeling calm and relaxed and moving away from stress and anxiety and you know things like panic attacks, which I used to have myself um, a lot in the past. And I had a lot of illness with stress and anxiety. Uh, when it first happened, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know uh, really about stress and anxiety 20 years ago. I didn't understand really, or maybe 25 years ago, I didn't understand about it um, until I got ill and then realized, oh, when I was 25, I was told that I was stressed and that's why I'd been ill for a year. Couldn't understand it, didn't really understand. Uh, how stress or how the effects of stress can really, you know, have such a negative impact on our bodies and our minds and our lives. And that, so finding ways to relax and to calm down is actually is one of the most important things you will ever do in your life, finding a way to just 
reduce any anxieties or stresses. And it's normal for stress to be presented to you. All of us have stress presented to us. Um, maybe stressful situations or situations that may have caused a rise in certain uncomfortable feelings within our body in the past. But now we're presented with it. Just like everybody else is. It's just part of being alive and some situations uh, are challenging. Day-to-day -day situations can be challenging. But when we use the challenging, that word challenging, instead of stressful, it transforms our attitude. It also transforms a situation because a situation doesn't have any power. It's our response to the situation that is the important thing. Therefore, if our response is to actually be able to just take a step backwards or sidewards or just cause a gap between the situation and your response so that you choose to respond instead of just reacting because we don't choose to react reaction is something that just happens naturally but when you decide to convert reacting to responding you cause a gap and anything you do anything you respond any action you take when you're responding is a choice so when you respond in a certain way whatever way that is you don't have the excuse of saying oh i have no choice so that's just how i naturally responded because you choose how you respond reacting is a different thing and i'm not saying that there's not going to be times when reaction is a natural thing of course it is but the idea is to reduce the amount of time we spend being reactive and transforming that to more times of being responsive or non-responsive, depending. You don't have to respond to every single thing that happens. You know, we can look out the window and see it's raining. We don't have to respond in a negative way saying, oh, it's raining and whatever. We can just see it's raining and be unresponsive to it because it's just weather and you cannot control the weather unless you've got some kind of superhuman powers uh, please contact me because I'd be very interested in seeing it in action so I'd like a little bit of snow today it'd be nice to see a bit of snow so basically these sessions all the sessions you've listened to in the past all the sessions that you will listen to in the future including this session is about that gap the more you listen to me regardless of what I say regardless of what words I use regardless of how long the session is even if it seems like I'm just rambling on it deepens that gap makes that gap more profound more visible so that you you know you're always aware of that gap without effort there's no effort involved in this it really is a case of instead of reacting you respond and responding takes thinking takes thought reaction is just based on emotion responding is based on awareness it on logic maybe but not necessarily on logic just on taking a step back
on taking responsibility for what we do next and for how we feel. It's not always about um, necessarily about how we physically or verbally respond to a situation in the sense of feelings of relaxation, stress, anxiety, all that stuff. Those instant reactions that you used to have now transform to responses. So there's a gap between someone saying something to you, maybe that was in the past, maybe you classed as hurtful or um, annoying or whatever word you want to give it. And they say that before you just naturally react with uh, maybe a put down or, or maybe you wouldn't say anything. You just carry on with what you're doing, but inside, you know, that's the, still thinking about it hours later, angry and, you know, emotional and stuff. So that's reaction. Responding, it's like, okay. You can still walk away. You choose whether or not to allow that situation, that incident, to take up your energy. You choose. Are you willing to allow that person or that situation to affect you negatively? Um, either physically or emotionally, because, you know, what goes on in your, in your mind affects how you physically feel as well. Are you willing to allow that situation to still be annoying to you, to still be causing stress and uh, physical discomfort or emotional dis discomfort as well, five, six hours later? Some people hold on to stuff for months and years. And all it does is hurt themselves. And I know it's easy to say the words. It's easy for me to sit here and just say these words, but they are true. It's not just some random thing. It's just not something I just read in a book. Although you can read stuff like this in a book, but it's true. It's based on truth and you know it's true. So that's why I try and base things on, not on a, a belief system, whether outdated or um, even like really positive belief system or something that I agree with or, it's not about that for me. It's just about what is true. What is a universal truth? And that, what I've been saying, is a universal truth for all of us human beings. So, relaxing isn't just something to do, isn't just like a little pastime thing. Relaxing and learning to be calm and be, you know, sort of in the moment, being able to change from reacting to responding, those things are massive. Being able to relax and being able to do these things and change your life in this way will change your life. This is huge stuff. Learning to relax your body and your mind is one of the most important things you can do for yourself. It's not just a little hobby or, you know, some people say, oh, I do a little hobby, I go to yoga, it's a hobby of mine. Yoga is far from a hobby. Yoga could transform your life. Meditation, again, it's not a hobby, it's, it's transformational, as is listening to relaxation sessions or just listening to me talking can transform your life and change the part of your brain, the chemicals in your brain,
can change. And sometimes it can be quite as simple as an idea just clicks. Something in your brain and your mind just clicks and changes forever. Positively, forever. It's just like, oh. So the gap, just need the gap, need to, oh, give myself space. So when I feel a reaction coming on, have the gap so it turns into a response. So that you take full control, full responsibility about what you say and what you do next because every second of every day you choose what you do next you choose what you say next we can lie to ourselves and say that we have no control over what we do or what we say and it's a lie we do have control over what we what we do and say I don't mean control over as in forcing ourselves to do things. What I mean is we do have the ability to not be hurtful to another person, whether physically or emotionally or verbally. Therefore, we can have control over whether we, we do that to ourselves. Because ultimately, if you're going through life saying nice things to yourself I don't mean um, an egotistical oh I'm the most amazing person in the whole world and I'm better than everybody else and I don't mean it in that way but just being nice to yourself you know instead of the negative words actually say nice things noticing the things that you like instead of the things that you dislike commenting on the things that you appreciate rather than the things that maybe you don't appreciate and doing that about yourself so in your own mind notice the things that you like about yourself so that you can do more of that because if you do something that you enjoy and it feels good for you it feels you know, physically you feel it it just feels really nice you've maybe um, said or not something nice to somebody or helped somebody uh, in some way I'm not it could be anything you had that feeling and it feels good which lets you know to do more of that or let you know at least that if you want to have this feeling again do that action again and it works the other way around as well so if there's a feeling you get a feeling from some situation which feels unpleasant then you know that you can have that unpleasant feeling by doing the same thing again why would you do that although many people do maybe out of comfort of uh, you know just doing the same thing but having that unpleasant feeling why would you put yourself through that so relaxation is one of the most important things you will ever do you'll ever have in your life Learning to relax is one of the most powerful things, powerful skills that you will ever learn. And you never finish learning. There's always more ways to learn. There's always new life challenges coming your way for all of us. So then maybe there's new ways to deal with those challenges that you can learn as time goes by.
but the more ways you can learn to relax, the easier it is to deal with life's challenges in a way that you can think clearer, have more clearer thought about maybe the solutions to the issue that may be presenting itself. Which is why relaxation is so important. And even when I'm talking about this stuff and I'm not necessarily focusing on the different parts of your body uh, and your mind and not talking about any specific technique in particular, you can still feel relaxed just by my voice. You can still feel calm just by the words that I say. You can still enjoy letting go and allowing your body and mind to relax deeply because that's what happens. Every time you hear my voice, see a video of my face, my face on the video, you can just instantly and naturally relax. There's nothing for you to do. Of course, always make sure that you're sitting safely or lying down safely. Make sure that if you are sitting down, you're, you know, if you do fall asleep, you're okay and you're safely supported in the chair. And the rest of it is just having an open mind. Having an open mind to the ideas that I offer to you. Those ideas may be useful. Some ideas might really trigger a positivity within you that maybe surprises you. Other ideas will just sink deep into your unconscious mind, bypassing any conscious thought and transforming your life in a positive way so that daily challenges in the future will become easier to deal with. And instead of reacting to challenges, you'll now find yourself responding more often with that gap in the middle, knowing that you have that space and then deciding, do you still want to be thinking about this uh, issue? in five hours time or six hours time or you're just going to let it go and because you've got that gap there maybe you can just let it drop down that gap and disappear never to be seen again never to be heard again never to be felt again just let it go because some things really aren't worth holding on to some things really do need to be let go. I mean, you know, if you was in a lifeboat in the middle of the ocean and you knew you had 10 hours before uh, a, a rescue ship came, but you had all your luggage in there, so you were in the lifeboat on your own, but you had, you know, 20 suitcases. But you could feel the lifeboat sinking. But you knew that if you chucked one of those suitcases overboard, maybe two, maybe three, maybe five, maybe 10, you knew that if you chucked the suitcases overboard, the amount that was needed that the lifeboat or dinghy 
would stay afloat and you would be safe until the rescue boat arrived. What would you do? Would you hold on to those bags, those suitcases, or would you let them go overboard? Would you hold on to useless stuff? And I'm talking about suitcases because there might be stuff in there that actually you classed as important. Thoughts, memories, uh, ideas, belief systems even. Maybe outdated belief systems. Outdated uh, ideas about how things should be. Or how you used to think that things should be. Realising that one of the true facts of life, you can't be right and happy. You can't have both. You can't be happy and always be right. Because the two won't, don't come together. Sometimes you just have to accept that if you want to be happy, you need to let go of needing to be right. And that's, you know, sometimes really difficult for people. So maybe one of those suitcases in that lifeboat could have the words on it, the need to be right, written on it. Imagine chucking it overboard into the ocean, letting it sink, gone forever. And in doing so, you've kind of saved your life. Like literally saved your life because a lifeboat's coming. And now you're floating on top of the ocean because that suitcase with you know, the need to be right has now left because that's gonna be one heavy suitcase, let's face it. And you let go of the need to be right. It's much easier to float. Makes everything lighter. Makes you feel more alive, more aware. No longer tied down to previous held beliefs that were maybe passed down from a different generation. That are no longer necessary for you or your life. Not valid. And by letting that go allows you to live your life allows you to be happy, relaxed and calm. And at the same time, you can just look at some more suitcases that are maybe there in that raft. One labeled stress, big letters, maybe written in, in red, maybe with a, like a picture of a skull on it, possibly. And you could pick that bag up. Maybe it's got some horrible sounds connected to it as well. You can pick the bag up and you can feel the stress actually entering your hand from the handle of the suitcase, but then you let it go into the ocean and your hand feels all relaxed again. And your whole body feels such relief because you just let stress go forever. The next one you see, maybe there's a suitcase 
labelled anxiety. Then you pick this one up, but you can feel the tension actually in the back of your neck from the anxiety straight away as you touch the handle. So you have to move that and let it go very quickly into the ocean as the back of your neck feels such relief instantly. Your body can appreciate having let go of anxiety. And the last suitcase that you can perhaps get rid of is labelled panic attacks. Maybe just panic. You can pick that up. And just push it over the side. Instantly. Push it. Let it go. Just watch it sink. You can watch the bubbles coming up to the surface as that sinks down to the bottom of the earth. Something that's no longer necessary. Something that you can do without. Allowing you to move on, to enjoy your life, to enjoy each day as it is a blessing. Each day is an opportunity for you to really experience feeling wonderful and relaxed and finding new ways to enjoy being you. So this is the end of this session. I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Take care of yourselves. Bye.